25 now. So that means we're entering one of the biggest volume periods of the year. This is our first big volume period. The next big volume period will come in period six. So with that, we're doing a lot more distance training. We're upping our hours during the week. And it's really important during this time to make sure that when we're training level one, we're actually training level one. Um, if you push too hard in those easy training sessions, it's gonna be really hard for your body to recover and bounce back when you need to do those harder intervals. So make sure level one is level one and you can hit those hours. And then with interval training, we're moving back up into level four again. So if you're able to, you can do a lot of L4 specific workouts, five by five, um, bounding intervals, roller skiing intervals, anything like that. Um, you can also do level three intervals, finishing with level four. So those can look like five minutes of a level three with one minute level four on the end. And then we are also trying to stay a little bit more ski specific. So maybe we're doing a little less biking, a little more roller skiing, a little more running. This is also a good time of year to start getting into bounding. So working on that uphill or running with poles is really good around this time of year. And we're also trying to keep our strength up, but we might be adding a little bit more explosivity to that strength. So doing some jumps and other stuff like that but get ready for a pretty big volume period and make sure you're recovering well, especially if it's hot where you are, lots of water, um, and enjoy the last summer period.